Hi scholars, today I'm going to go over TEEK 4.8C. I can solve problems that deal with measurements of length, intervals of time, liquid volumes, mass, and money using addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division as appropriate. Now for this particular video, I'm just going to talk about measurements of length, which will be inches, feet, yard, mile, millimeter, meter, and kilometer. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to go over is the customary system. Now, in my other videos, um, I've explained that the customary system is used in the United States. I don't think I've ever heard it anywhere else. So for length, we have inches, feet, yard, and miles. So inches is this, this side of the ruler. And inches are actually bigger than these, which are um, centimeters. So <clears throat> the side on the ruler that goes up to 12 is inches. The side of the ruler that goes up to 30 is centimeters. So I always tell my students that um, if you use like this part of your finger and you do that, that is about an inch. That's a good benchmark idea that this is in inches. So one of these is an inch, okay? And then... 12 inches equals one foot. So a foot is the length of a ruler. And I always tell my students, like, usually those schools, like classrooms that have tiles, they're foot-long tiles. The side of a tile is one foot. So you can use that to help you also. Um, a lot of people say, um, this is going to be hard to show, but from your wrist to your elbow is generally one foot. That's just another benchmark you can use to help you get an idea. Okay, then we have yard. <clears throat> a yard is actually three rulers, three feet. Okay, so let me just show you. This is a yard right here. This is a yard stick. And so here is how I can show you. So there's one ruler. There's one ruler right there. That's one foot. So I'll use that to help you. There's two feet, and then generally right there, three feet. So um, my marker board from top to bottom is a yard. Uh, the middle part of my smart board is a yard. You know, sometimes it, if you want, you can go around your house or find something that's one yard. Um, this is going to be hard for me to show, but one yard, they say from your wrist to, like, your nose or something like that. I will um, find some um, icons to help you remember that. But, <clears throat> so you have inches, which is the finger, the part of the finger that I showed you. A foot is a ruler, or the side of a... Um, tile. A yard is, you know, a yard stick or three rulers. And then miles is actually 5,280 feet or 1,700, uh, I can't remember, something yards. So miles is actually really, really long. So <clears throat> if you're measuring something really short and small like this, you would use inches. If it's bigger than, you know, a few rulers, then start measuring it in feet. If it's bigger than that, then start measuring in yards. And if it's like driving distance, you know, like it's not something like right down the street, then you would measure that in miles. Okay, next, let's, let's uh, sorry, net, next, let's talk about the metric system of length. This is used in science and pretty much everywhere else in the world. What I really like about the metric system is that um, it's on a base 10 system. So like 10 of these equals 10 of these. Uh, 10 of these equals one of these. 10 of these equals um, a decimeter. And then um, 10 decimeters, which it's not listed here, but 10 decimeters equal a meter. And then... 10 meters equals something else, but then I know 1,000 meters equals a kilometer. So it's a very easy system to remember. 
So like, you know, in my other teak that I'll be talking about in another video, this one, Converting Measurements, it's so easy because the numbers just work well together. Whereas with the customary system, you know, 12 inches equal a foot, 3 feet equal a yard, 1,000 something, whatever, equals that many miles. So it's a little bit different. <clears throat> so millimeter. Millimeter is the very first one, and it is super, super tiny. So if you remember in the last clip, I talked about that these are inches. So millimeters on the other side. Now, from here to here, that's a centimeter. But do you see like from here to there? Imagine this dime like right there, sitting in one of those little spots. Like the length of that little, or the width of that dime, that's one millimeter. From here to here, that's one millimeter. That's it. It's so tiny. I mean, you could even say like, that's a millimeter. My dime could probably cover that up. So tiny. <clears throat> now, from here to here, and I always tell my students, use your pinky, and that is about a centimeter. 10 millimeters equal one centimeter. Okay, so use your pinky to help you remember that. Now, a decimeter, that's 10 centimeters. So from here all the way here, that's a decimeter. That's not, I mean, people don't use it, but it is the next step from there because it's like 10 of these equal that, 10 of these equal that, 10 of those equal that. So, you know, that's just set in a system, but you get the idea. So from 0 to 10, that is a decimeter. Actually, your place value blocks that you use in school are a decimeter, so that's nice. Now, um, 100 centimeters... So, I mean, this only stops at 30, but 100 equals a meter. So I'm going to show you a meter stick in a minute. A meter stick is almost as long, or a, it's a little bit longer than a yard stick. So let me just show you a meter stick first. Here's the meter stick right there. Okay, if you look... See that? This is this is zero centimeters, that's one, that's two, and then it goes down. And do you see how the 10, the 20, the 30 are a little bit bigger? Because that's telling you decimeters. And then to the end, that's 100. Okay, so I want to show you a yardstick so you can just quickly compare. It's very, very close. It's very close. So you can always kind of, you know, put them together and make that connection. And then a kilometer is actually 1,000 meters. So imagine 1,000 of those meter sticks next to each other. That's, that's a kilometer. This is used for driving distances. Um, like, like I told you in my other videos, um, I was talking about kilometers when I traveled to Europe. And like um, in Dubai, they'll tell you like this many kilometers to the next city or whatever. So that's kind of like our equivalent to miles. So real quick, I'm just going to put this here so you can kind of see the connection. Okay. So like our inches would be close to centimeter. It's not exact. Inches are bigger than centimeters, but that's kind of like what it is. We don't have anything smaller than inches, and if we do, I've never heard of it, but they go even smaller. They can go into the millimeter. And then um, our feet, you know, could, could be a decimeter, but not really. They're too far apart. They're, it's not the same size. And then our yard is very similar to their meter, and then our one mile is kind of like a kilometer. So that is my introduction to different lengths. And um, in my next part, I will talk about solving problems that deal with um, uh, converting. Here's what I was trying to explain with one yard. It is from nose to the tip of your finger. 
and um, that's a good like idea of how long a yard could be. There's also about the width of a door, that's a yard. And then I know from the floor to the knob, that's more like a meter. So here is my yardstick, and as you can see, it's about the length of, um, or the width of my door. But then the meter stick goes from uh, the knob about to the floor. I guess I should keep it more flat, but then it'll fall down. But you get the idea.